Welcome to episode 496, I think it is, of the Brian Brody Show. More importantly, ignore the next two minutes at your own risk. Hi, it's Brian. Why do I say ignore the next two minutes at your own risk? Because time is running out. We're going to get to, as we started at the beginning of the show, time is running out. So when it comes to two minutes, that's a pretty formidable chunk of time, if you will, for you to remember who you ultimately are, more importantly, what you're ultimately capable of. And I said, uh, yeah, oh, good morning, by the way. Good evening, by the way. Don't know whether I'm coming or going. Good evening, by the way. I said throughout the day, this right now, this today is the greatest moment in the history of the world to be alive. And it is. Why is that? Because you're still here. And being here gives you ample opportunity to draw your line in the sand and make your mark on life. Given your mind's marrow, your natural resources, your ability, when we put away all the mashugana, when we put away all the craziness, when we put away all the distractions, if you listened last evening, you know that I believe that the ultimate evil is human distraction. It's human agitation. It pulls you away, not only from your core, but where you are in this particular moment in all of time. So the one thing that you'll never run out of is the particular moment that you're in. Less, of course, it's your very last moment. Then I guess you could argue with me. Well, Brian, I was fine for like the opening 45 seconds. and uh, clicked. It was gone. All right. So I'll give you that. But other than that, this is the greatest moment in the history of the world to be alive because we're all waiting on you to step up to the plate and just crush it. You have to admit, these are some pretty wild times. But I have to tell you, I, there's so many things I have pet peeves about. But one of the things is that, oh, well, the, you know, these times are really chaotic. They're all chaotic, jerky. Oh, these times are really unprecedented. All right, needle nits, they're always unprecedented. Every time is full of chaos. Every time is full of uncertainty. Don't buy into the hype. Don't let your head be filled with that. Don't let your head be hijacked, right? Your cognitive cockpit be hijacked and then spun with all the other noise going in the outs going on in the outside world. What are you to do? If you're here, you're here for a reason. You're here to exercise a passion. As I've said before, whether you were born with that passion or it was something you've cultivated over a lifetime. You're here to exercise that passion, to draw your line in the sand and say, this is the way I'm going to leave my mark on life. Now, you have to look around in terms of social media, in terms of politics, in terms of everything going on in the world today. There's all kinds of people gunning for your attention. There's all kinds of people that are plotting on how they can get you to focus on their mashugana and not who you ultimately are. So here's a conspiracy theory for you, right? You want the big conspiracy theory for me? I think there's a conspiracy theory. It's called marketing, advertising. It's called social media, called political correctness, called identity politics. Oh, oh, another one, toxic masculinity. Oh, yeah, don't you love that one, toxic masculinity? I'll tell you, I think it's toxic sensitivity, but let's not get me started. What I'm suggesting is there is a conspiracy theory, and it's led by marketers and advertisers and anyone that would love for you to get who you ultimately are. They would love for you to have that amnesia. Why is that? Why did I read a report yesterday that said Jeff Bezos is on his way to becoming humanity's, at least in this life, right, at least on this planet, wherever that means, humanity's first trillionaire? Why? Because Jeff Bezos is a drug dealer and a brilliant one. Let me tell you this. He could run any street corner on any town USA and make a mint. Already has. How has he done it? Because he's selling you your baubles. He's selling you your bling. He's selling you your crap, whatever it is. You're not a crack. You and I aren't crack addicts. We're crap addicts. Oh, I have to have my phone right away. Oh, I have to have a microphone. Oh, don't you like this? This is a new flashlight. It's like you can freeze it or something, and it just keeps on. Got got to have my crap. And you just can't have it so that the normal mail delivers it. You and I got to have the distraction. You and I have to have the agitation, pacing back and forth. Oh, oh, is that the doorbell? Oh, no, I think there was a knock. 
Oh, so I'm not going to do that. Could be Amazon. Could be UPS. Could be FedEx. Is FedEx still in operation? Could be FedEx delivering me my bling. Anything to call me out. Any carrot on the end of the stick. Any hope that when I unwrap this box, my life will be something special. Well, I'm here to tell you that the amnesia, they're all over it. They want you thinking that way. Why? Because you're already special. You're already over the hill talented. You and I just forget about it at times. So why, 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 why is it so important to recognize who you are, where you are, what you are, and how much time that you have left? Because you and I don't know. Look, I'm cruising around. Everything's going great, right? I go for a run. I come back. Tongue's numb. Can't taste the cannoli. If you haven't heard the story, go to the doctor. He goes, ah, there's nothing wrong with you. You're in perfect health, right? Nothing, physical health, mental health. Well, I'm not, I'm not signing off on that. But right, other than mental health, you're in perfect health. Uh, but just for the heck of it, why don't we send you for an MRI? Send me for an MRI. Uh, as soon as I get out of the MRI, the doctor calls me and says, look, they sent it over to me right away. I was watching while I was going down. You got to get over here. I go, it's Friday night. You know what traffic would be like to, trying to come to your neck of the woods? I'm not coming to your place on a Friday night. He goes, Brian, you got to come here now. I go, whatever you're going to tell me in person, just tell me now. I'm a big boy. I can take it. He goes, you have a brain tumor, size of a golf ball. Got to go to the emergency room right now. So when you think about your time running out, when you think about that hourglass, well, I hope it never happens to you. Because it hijacked the next three years of my life. I hope time never runs out on you like that. But within a few hours, I was in the emergency room. All the doctors and nurses standing around looking up on the jumbotron going, holy crap, that really is a golf ball sized brain tumor. So don't be in that position. Don't buy into all the crazy. Don't buy into all the mashugana. You are supercharged right as you are. You've simply forgotten about it. So that's the point that I wanted to make today. Forget all the bill of goods that you've been sold because they're not all that good, really, right? You've been convinced that you need all this crap. You need all this bobble, all this bling, all this tchotchke, all these other things that he can bring you. But all that does is waste your time. It takes time to wait for the UPS guy. It takes time to unwrap that package. Although it is fun busting up the bubble wrap. I got to give you that, right? Pop, 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 right? But it's a waste of time. What are you here to do? What are you here to do? Where are you going to draw your line in the sand? And where are you going to make your mark on life? Because you and I, even though we think we'll live forever, uh, newsflash, we're not going to. Even though you and I think we're going to live forever, we need to magnify the moment to use this particular moment in all of time. Look at yourself in the mirror and go, enough of your crap, enough of your BS, enough of your procrastination, enough of your distraction. What are you here to do? Needle knits, let's get it done. That's the beauty of being immortal, which is why I say all the time, mortal up. If you want to, uh, drop us a line, give us an idea as to what you're thinking about, show notes, reach out to us, whatever you want. Hit us up at mortalup.com. Oh, this is probably good a time as any to let you know that tomorrow, you know, we hear all these times, oh, I ran into a brick wall. Well, guess what? You and I are the ones that build our own brick walls. Are there some cul-de-sacs? Are there some things laying in wait for us that you and I can't possibly see? I wouldn't imagine. Sure there are, but they're cul-de-sacs, not dead ends. So tomorrow we'll be talking about just that. What are the walls that you build to hold yourself encased, to hold yourself back, to hold yourself from crossing the finish line. So make sure you tune in tomorrow, episode 497, probably. Oh, we're closing in on episode 500. We'll be here ready to go uh, for that show for you. So. In closing, remember that time is running out for you and me. This is the moment in all of time. Magnify the moment. Grab your weapon, whatever it is. Grab your fingerprints of providence. Grab whatever it is that you're going to use from the moment at hand and show us what you're made of. Because what you're made of is some pretty special stuff. And I think it's time for you to look up, for you to stand up, for you to bring your own bold to hell with what everyone else thinks. Bring your own bold and mortal up. Because there has never, ever, ever been a better time for you to be who you truly are, who you ultimately are, who you are at your core, outside of the amnesia, who you know you are. There's never been a better time to make that person strut the red carpet than there is right now. Never been a better time. Have an absolutely fantastic day. Again, if we can do anything for you, reach out to us at mortalup.com. If not, we will see you tomorrow.